Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you will need to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over page on the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. We need to base this for this to pull back towards the 20 exponential or the 50 moving average in order for to enter this market. So the MACD is becoming bearish at this point. Stochastic is flat and the RSI is bearish. So momentum is kind of to the downside. We could see this market uh, pull back a bit before the jobs number on Friday. But at the moment, we are still in an uptrend and every pullback has basically been a buying opportunity here. And so it's the, the 4,372 level and also the 4,300 level that should be where buyers come back in and buy to so the upside break below here. Then we could see this drop significantly lower to the downside. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did fall roughly 0.75% today. It is uh, much more bearish than the other US indices and the other indices in general. You can see the MACD is very bearish, the classic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum is definitely to the downside. Question is whether or not we break below the 20 exponential. That opens the door to the 50 down here at the 34,554. And probably as uh, low as the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And break below these candlesticks here. Then we could see this drop all the way down to 33 and that 200 moving average. But still, we are in an uptrend and all of these pullbacks have been bought into long-term target here should be 33 35,500 so the nasdaq so the nasdaq continues to rally we're at 15,090 at this point and uh, well every single dip uh, towards the 20 exponential we can see here 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 all of them have been bought into we haven't had really a proper testing of the 50 moving average for a very long time. We have to go all the way back to beginning with June in order to see that. So, so yes, pullbacks have been bought into, and uh, that probably will be the same case here. 50,500 will mostly be the target. If we break below the 50 moving average, then 40, 14,000 comes into play, and then probably if that breaks, all the way down to the 200 moving average at the 13,300 at this point. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX has a pulled a uh, rallied from the 50 moving average, but we have seen this several times before in the last few basically two weeks. We have been been in this really tight range here, right at the 50 moving average. Have rallied, broken down, rallied, broken down, and we need to basically break above here another green counting in order to go towards fifteen thousand or sixteen uh, sixteen thousand. Otherwise, we'll probably just see the same thing. MACD is bullish at this point. Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, okay, UK FTSE. So UK FTSE uh, has rallied significantly from the bottom here and pulled back today. So kind of a worrying sign that this may pull back towards the 50 moving average the 20 down here at the 7050 give or take break below here then could open all the way the door all the way down to 16,000 6,900 and breaking below these kind of six could open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average uh, MACD is bullish stochastic is bullish and so is the RSI at this current stage so let's look at the China 50. So China 50 really fell apart. Well, in the beginning, end of May, and all the way down, all the way down here towards 14,550, give or take. It has recovered a little bit, but not, not really impressive. We were significantly oversold, so this was always going to bounce back, but it has been very, very choppy. And at the moment, it kind of looks like we're just uh, going back and forth uh, sideways until we hit the 20 exponential, and then we can probably drop even further as the 20 exponential has been massive, uh, massive resistant. 
if we were to break below these candlesticks here, then uh, uh, 14,000 will come into play and probably 13,000 as well. So MACD is still bearish, the candlestick is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So, hope you found this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.